First, we look at the NAND gate. When input A is 0 and B is 0 and execute the clock, the output is 1. When A is 0 and B is 1 and execute the clock, the output is 1. When input A is 1, B is 0, and execute the clock, the output is 1. When input A is 1, and B is 1, and execute the clock, the output is 0. This NAND gate consists of two inputs a clock, an output, two coupling plates, and spacer. These plates are connected with two switching pins. The clock plate moves in vertical direction and executes the logic. This is a switching pin for input A. moves in the vertical direction and the result can represent 0 and 1. This is a switching pin for input B. The actual linking logic is implemented via the coupling plates which have L and I shape openings for the NAND operation. And it also moves in vertical direction. The spacer is inserted between coupling plates to reduce the friction. The input plates moves in the horizontal direction and set to inputs A and B. These plates are stacked and connected by two switching pins. Here is a truth table for a NAND gate. Only when a and B are 1, the output is 0. Now, we check whether the NAND gate works correctly. To show the mechanism, I will remove input plates. Input A is 0, 0, and 1. Input B is 0 and 1. First, when input A is 0 and B is 0, then the clock pulse executed. The output is 1. Next, when input A is 0 and B is 1, then the clock pulse executed. The output is 1. Next, when Input A is 1 and B is 0. Then the clock pulse executed. The output is 1. Finally, when input A is 1 and B is 1, then the clock pulse executed. This time, clock pulse is forwarded to the coupling plate 2. However, the coupling plate 1 and the uh, output plate remains in its original position and the result is 0. So, we have fully verified the NAND gate. Next, we look at the exclusive OR gate. When input A is 0 and B is 0 and execute the clock. 
the output is 0. When input A is 0 and B is 1 and execute the clock, the output is 1. When A is 1 and B is 0 and execute the clock, the output is 1. When input A is 1 and B is 1 and execute the clock, the output is 0. This exclusive OR gate consists of two inputs, a clock, an output, and two coupling plates, and the spacer. These plates are connected with two switching pins. The clock plate moves in the vertical direction and executes the logic. This is a switching pin for input A. The output plate moves in the vertical direction. The result can represent 0 and 1. This is a switching pin for input B. The actual linking logic is implemented via the coupling plates, which have two L-shaped openings for the exclusive OR operation, and it also moves in the vertical direction. The spacer is inserted between coupling plates to reduce the friction. The input plates moves in the horizontal direction and set two inputs A and B. These plates are stacked and connected by two switching pins. Here is the truth table for the exclusive OR gates. The difference between inputs A and B makes the output 1. Now we check whether the exclusive OR gate works correctly. To show the mechanism, I will remove input plates. Input plates A is 0 and 1. Input plates B is 0 and 1. First, when input A is 0 and B is 0, clock pulse executed. The clock pulse is forwarded to the coupling plate 1. However, the coupling plate 2 and the output plate remain in its original position and the result is 0. Next, when input A is 0 and B is 1, then the clock pulse executed. The clock pulse is forwarded to the output plate and the output is 1. Next, when input A is 1 and B is 0, then the clock pulse executed. The clock pulse is forwarded to the output plate and the output is 1. Finally, when input A is 1 and B is 1, then the clock pulse executed. The clock pulse is forwarded to the coupling plate 2. However, the coupling plate 1 and the output plate remain in its original position. So the result is zero. So we have fully verified the exclusive OR gate. Thank you for watching.